Okay, so I have got my different types of colour paper. They're dry, pretty much. I've got some blue and I've got some white paper as well. If you don't have white paper and you have coloured paper, you could use that as well. Or obviously the back of this is white, so you could use the back of it and just turn it over. I want to make four flowers that are going to fill up about this space. This is half of a piece of printer paper. So I don't really want them bigger than this, so they're going to be about this big. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make four flowers. So I want four white centres, or they could be yellow, or they could be pink, any colour really. So maybe I'll do two white, and as I have got some nice, what do I think I'll do purple? As I've got some nice purple paper here, I will do two that are purple. And to save me time, I'm going to fold in half. So I've got one, two, three, four. And you can draw or you can just cut. I'll have a good drawing. That's going to be about the size for the middle of the flower. So I'm going to cut four together. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make four flowers. Two with purple in the middle, two with white. So I'm looking, I think that white probably looks best on there. This purple, let's have one purple, one white, and one purple on there. So I'm going to get my pen and I'm just going to put the uh, centre there, I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to draw that flower shape. And it can be kind of fun, you could do some that are round, maybe you want to do some that are more spiky. So there's two. This one is not very good for me to draw on the on the past oil pastel. So that one we might need to just cut. Oh no, I know what you can do. Turn it over and draw it. Better idea. So I think this one we're gonna do like this. And then we'll cut that out and turn it back over. And this one. We'll do a little bit, a little bit like the sunflower we drew. So we're going to put one, two, three, four lines. Go around and do our petals. This will work better if your paper is completely dry. Mine is not. There we go. You can vaguely see it. Right. So now we're going to cut them out. You don't have to draw beforehand, maybe you're good at just cutting. I'm just drawing so you can see what I'm doing. So there's one. Quite like those pretty colours, a bit like a sunflower. So I'm going to put that in the middle. Nice. Um, here is my second one. This, remember, is the oil pastel. I'm going to cut around this. To me, it does look a bit like a fried egg shape. I'm going to try and make it look a bit more of a flower as I cut it out. There we go, make the petals a bit go a bit more into the middle, I think. Yeah. That will go there. Ooh. Sometimes I find it easier if I'm doing two like this just to cut the paper and do one at a time. And when you're cutting to move your paper around, that can be tricky.
Okay, so here are the four flowers. And as you look at them, there could be, you might think, ah, I know, I'm going to add a little bit more in the middle of some of them. that. Put it here. And add a little bit more of this one. This green one in the middle of the green one, I think. And something here. Let's do this one. Now make sure you leave these to dry, tidy up your mess and then next time we're going to put these together to make Frida Kahlo's portrait and these will be going for her.